Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo and in this video you are going to learn about code coverage in Ruby. What is it and how is it useful? So code coverage is about testing and what it does is it tells you exactly what lines of code you are testing and this will help you find out how good are your tests and what more tests can you write to to make sure that you are covering every line of your code that's why it's called test coverage we have some code here so you can see how this works ruby includes this library that's called simple cop like this and you can require it and this will allow you to enable the test coverage report and you have to include this the first thing in your code as early as possible so it can actually do what it needs to do so that it can calculate the coverage for your code the order is very important in this when you are using code coverage now to actually enable the code coverage after you require the library you have to say simple code like this then start that's how you start the process of collecting gathering information about the coverage of your test then after that you want to require your code in this case i have require relative and this is the file i'm testing it's just a method and then we have the test so this mini test test and right now i only have one test and what we are testing is assert equal young we want this string young we return it when we call the method h to description with a value of 32 this is our expectation this is what we want now let's take a quick look at this h to description which is right here it's just a, a method that takes one parameter and it has one case statement and it returns strings now these ranges these number ranges are just arbitrary and they are used for the purpose of this example now i choose this example because it has different these ranges require different tests for for us to make sure that they are working why because one test we test this range another this range and another this other range right so let's go back to the test right now i'm testing the young range and when i run this code with coverage enabled what will happen is the following we get a passing test because we see the dot it says one run one assertion zero failures zero errors and then this line is interesting because it says coverage report generated for mini test on this directory and there are also some numbers there that we are going to cover in a moment right now let's go to this folder to this directory so I'm going to go to my terminal and if I list the files we see these assets and index HTML so what you get from this coverage library is an HTML report you can open it with uh, any browser in this case I'm going to use Firefox so Firefox index HTML we open the report and what we get here is a lot of files but we, we don't recognize any of these files these are just gems and other things 
So there is the search functionality in here. So search and we can type the name of our file. This case is called h to description. If I, if I type h, we can find it. And then we can click on this. There is some information in here, but we can click on this. And this will show us the code. And you will notice that some lines are green and other lines are red. What does that mean? Well, the green lines means that they're being tested. They're being covered by the test. They're being run. So we know that we have a test for young, but we don't have a test for senior or underage because they are red. So we need to add more tests. Now let me go back to our editor. And I want to do something very quickly. I want to add a filter. So by adding a filter, we can remove all of these gem related files that we are not testing. We are only testing our own code, right? We are testing this h to description method. And we don't care about all of the other gem code. So adding this filter, we can filter that out. Now if I run the code again, you will notice this 60% in here. So this 60% is 60% of code coverage. It means that our tests are testing 60% of the code. That's what that means. Now if I add another test, let's test under H. So test under H. Answer equal, uh, this will be under age, and let's do, let's call the method, let's do 20. Now when I run this, notice what happens here. This percentage, we increase. It's now 80%. Why? Because we added another test that tests another branch of our case statement. So now we have two tests, and if I go back to the report, I can refresh this. And now it says right here, 80% cover. I can click and notice that now under H is in green and young is in green. So now we have covered two of the possible cases, possible branches for this method. Now we can add one more test to make it 100%. So let, let's do that. Test senior, oops, senior, answer equal, senior, and let's make this go about 90 years. And now when I run this test, we get 100%. And if I go back to the report right here, I can refresh and we get the nice 100% in green. And now we know that every single line of code is being test is under test, it has test coverage. So under age, young and senior is being test. All of the possible, what this means is that all of the possible states or code paths or branches that this method can go through, depending on the input, are being test. So that's a good thing, right? So that's code coverage is very useful tool just don't get to obsess about making this 100%. It's just a tool and it can help you use it for that. Use it to help you find parts of your code that you're not testing. And just because you have 100%, it doesn't mean that your tests are perfect. There are still some cases that you're not testing.
by corner cases, things like that. So that's code coverage. Very useful tool. I hope you, you give it a try, practice with it as you are developing your testing skills and your Ruby skills. And if you like this video, click the like button for me so I know that you like it. I just want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and visit my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.